Coronavirus caused attractions in our area to close. We all know that. Tomorrow, the Tennessee Aquarium will reopen their doors for their members. WDEF News 12 Now's Danielle Moss joins us now live with more. Good afternoon, Danielle. Okay, we are down here at the aquarium. We are getting a behind the scenes look at all the things that we can expect for their opening and, and especially making way for the coronavirus. I'm here with Tom Benson. Tom, talk a little about the things that people can expect to see here at the Tennessee Aquarium. Well, first of all, let me say welcome you back to the Tennessee <laughs> Aquarium. This is nice to have media here uh, because we've been talking distantly for some time. So yeah, we're ready to welcome members back starting tomorrow. Uh, timed entry tickets will be required for everyone. So you'll need to get those online. Members, of course, enjoy Enjoy free admission just like they always have, but they still have to have a timed entry ticket because that allows us to limit the capacity of visitors in our uh, spaces and make sure that there's enough physical distance between parties. We've worked very hard on this reopening plan. It's been approved by the CDC, State of Tennessee, Hamilton County Health Department, and we brought in an infectious disease specialist, Dr. Mark Anderson from CHI Memorial to approve our plans, which he did, and uh, make recommendations, and those have also been incorporated in this plan. So we're ready. Uh, all of our animals are ready to welcome guests back and uh, we're excited to have people enjoying our animals and exhibits and I think that the aquarium is one of those places that has that calming effect and really allows people to relax and it's a much needed experience after everything that we've been through. That is so true. Now we've seen a lot of different things around here in the aquarium. We've seen different hand sanitizing stations. Pause here. Talk a little bit about more of those things you guys have. Yeah, so our graphics team has produced more than 159 signs that are in our buildings. We've added more hand sanitizing stations. Uh, all of the physical distancing will be in place. All of our staff and volunteers will be wearing masks. As you experienced, anybody from the outside that's working here goes through a protocol of temperature checks. Um, our guests are not required to wear a mask, but they're strongly recommended. And from 9 to 10 a.m., we're having early bird open hours where everyone will be required to wear a mask. And that's for those families that have folks that have special health concerns. And so they can safely visit where everybody will be wearing masks and they don't have to worry about it. But for the rest of the hours, strongly encouraging guests to wear a mask. If you leave for the aquarium, you forget your mask, we'll have some available in the River Journey gift shop. Perfect. Last question. When can the general public expect to experience all this awesomeness? So starting Monday, the timed entry tickets will go on sale. June 18th is a reopening for the entire public. Members will have the previews this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Perfect. You heard it here first, Kay. You guys that are members can enjoy this tomorrow, but on June 18th, general public can come out. Reporting live at Tennessee Aquarium, Danielle Moss, News 12 Now. Thank you. So 